Hello everyone. <laughs> I think Bob's rushed off his feet at the moment. Uh, family matters and all that. So, uh, I think you just got me. Just great. So, I'm going to try and show you some funny stories. <laughs> so yeah, back in the day, back in 1992, I met this American girl in England. And, uh, she looked like Gloria Estefan. Gorgeous. Anyway, sort of fell in love. She was deaf and all, a little sign language. But, uh, yeah, so I went over to the States to see her. And, uh, the first time I went to the States to see her, and, uh, so I had a great time, blah, 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 you know. Nice romantic holiday. Well, they're chasing me again, the police, as soon as they're starting to admit this story. Yeah, so anyway, on the way back, I was flying back, and uh, I had to get from Albany to New York, JFK, and then JFK to Manchester. Anyway, something had gone wrong, and the flight was delayed, and all this. So, I, instead of going that way, I had to go to Chicago and then Chicago to London, London to Manchester. Just a, a turn of a, of a page, you know, it was like, and at that age, I was about 24, I think, and I didn't really understand how airports work properly. I've been a few times on holiday to Minorca or Cyprus, but I've never been that as long, as far on my own right America so anyway so I'm thinking oh my god you know what, what happens you know I was like panicking a bit so I got on this plane and we went to Chicago <laughs> anyway Gaz will laugh at this because he works <laughs> he works he works in the airline industry but so what happened was as I was taxiing in we just landed at Chicago Come on, to stand. And I'm thinking, oh, what about my case? What about my cases? I'm really panicking. Anyway, you know when you see the the, the buggies uh, with the, with with the uh, trolleys, the cases. There, there was mine on the top, my case, because I put this guitar sticker on the top of it, this guitar string sticker. There it was, right on the top. I thought that's my case. We see him on it, and he put it to one side. You know, as I got off the plane, <laughs> you know, uh, like the jetway, it was like some stairs going down, and the door was open. It was wedged open. I thought, all I've got to do is go down there, and I can get my case. <laughs> so I ran down these stairs, <laughs> down these stairs, and uh, got onto the apron. They call it the apron, you know, the runway bit. And I said, I said to this guy, he's got his earphones on, get on my case. He's going, you are, what I want. I said, my case, that's my case. My case. He said, yeah, and he gives it me, it's my case. So, I get the case, and luckily, they not closed the door at the top of the stairs. Can you imagine if they closed the door, I would have been, that would have been it. I would have been flipping, banged up in America, would I? You know, I didn't understand. Obviously, so I've got my case, and I go through, and uh, I went to the I went to the desk where I rechecked in to transfer onto London Heathrow. And uh, they're going, "Why have you got your case? Where have you got your case from?" I says, "I just got it off the uh, got it off the off the runway." What do you mean off the, off the off the baggage guy? I went down the steps and got it off him. <laughs> These Americans, you know. The, the ground staff, whatever, checking, they're looking at me like, well, what's going on here? Anyway, so I got on, my, I got on the plane to, uh, I think it was a Jumbo, I can't remember what it was, London Heathrow, British Airways. First was flying with uh, American Airlines, but this was British Airways, so I get, I, get, I get off at London Heathrow and I'm walking through, you know, you go through customs and whatever anyway I have to go through this area first before I can then transfer 
you know, uh, going from just London to Manchester, domestic. So I've got to get my gear or whatever. I didn't really understand it. But uh, this guy, uh, they're all there waiting for me. Customs and all this lot, police, two, two or three of them. And he says, I mean, he says, yeah, so he's got me on this podium thing. And uh, he started asking me all these questions, interrogating me. And uh, and he got the case, went right through it, x-rayed it, and he tipped it all out. He got all my stuff out, snipped my toothpaste and everything. I'll be packaged your your exes. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, he just let me go. I mean, what years later to actually start working at Manchester Airport as a security profiler, security agent, whatever. I actually realised what I'd actually done. <laughs> you know what I mean? I've broken every rule in the book. <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, mad in it. But uh, yeah, there's a there's a another another silly story. Hey, eh? me panicking at the airport. <laughs> okay, okay, hands up. Put my hands up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I went on the apron. Oh, airport stories. Airport stories. Yeah, he's, he's another good one. So I was, uh, I was airside, wait, twiddling my thumbs, skiving. I was just waiting for to go and work on his flight, I had about an hour. I was just airside. And uh, we knew all the, all the staff and different girls, you know. And I was just sat opposite this gate and uh, they were about to board. And uh, this girl says, you're not doing anything, are you calling us? Says, no, not really. Well, you can help help us if you want. We want want my job. This what you know. He said you can help us. And I said, well, what do you want me to do? He said, well, you can just check these boarding cards and just you know put it through to me. All oh, right, okay. But she won't want working. Anyway, this this old couple come up. He says, so I talk to him. Oh yeah, well, I can't wait to go on all the on this. So I've got the board and can, oh yeah, have a good time. Whatever the name was, maybe Clark or something like that. Let's call him Clark. And uh, anyway, so I, I just sort of, anyway, did a few and then I sat down. Anyway, about 20 minutes later, I could hear the final boarding, boarding uh, call for Mr. and Mrs. Clark at gate 213. And I thought, that's the next gate. Clark, hold on a minute, this is 212, whatever it was. That's the next one. I thought, shit. Anyway, <laughs> so I liked it on set plane. Got on the plane and they were sat there. I said, you're right, you're right. Yeah, yeah. I said, uh, can I just see your passport and your ticket again? And I said, give me this. I'm looking at it. Oh, shit. I says, uh, can you just follow me? I said, I said just get your, just get your, <laughs> your, look, your hand luggage. See that? And I got it out of the thing. I said, Come on, you need you need to follow me. Oh, it's a problem. They're like that bricking it. I said, you're right, you, you, you not much of a problem, just follow me. So I dragged him off the plane onto the jetway. He says, What's the problem? I says, You're on the wrong plane. <laughs> Can you imagine it? Can you imagine it? I said, I said Well you you're going to flipping uh wherever it was. You're going to Tenerife, but this is going to flipping Greece. <laughs> or wherever it was. <laughs> Talk at them and said, Come on, so they run like mad to the next gate. And it, here they are, here they are. Everyone's going, Go on, sit on there. Yeah, have a good holiday. See ya. <laughs> Walks off like that. <laughs> and this girl comes up to me. She says, That was you, that Colin, wasn't it? That was you. You've done that, haven't you? Went, she says, Next time, just sit there and be quiet. <laughs> yeah, we've all, all done daft things in the past, haven't we? <laughs> Real once, the white doctor wife says, we need a new, uh, need a new push push chair for for kids, for for, for Louise. I said, all right, okay, oh, go and get one. So I went to Argos. You no, know, typical me, just flicking through. Oh yeah, that'll do. And I've got Louise with, Louise with me. All right, she's only about two. Anyway, all oh, right. So pick the one I wanted. You give me this box. I thought, oh, oh, okay, so I walked back to the car. 
Oh, I'll, I'll put this together now. They open a box up. Oh, it's a bit small, this, isn't it? I'm looking at it like this. So it all clipped together. <laughs> it's only about that big. <laughs> I kind of bought a doll's one, haven't I? It was, on offer, it was on offer about seven ninety nine or something like that to put a baby doll in. I thought it was a flipping proper push chair. And Louise is looking at me going, I'm not going to get in that, Daddy, am I? <laughs> so I took it back and uh, I says, uh, oh, no, can, I, can, I, can I take bring this back? I said, she, she doesn't like it. She doesn't want it. <laughs> Don't care. What a shelly sod. So embarrassed. 